Alright friends, let's see what uh, this Lab 32 has in store for us about. <clears throat> well, supposedly there's a jet bike in there, so let's we'll see if we can find that. Although I'm going to... break the semblance of, uh, not knowing what's... What? Oh, okay, I think you can tell him to hang on. Not knowing what's going on and pick something up real quick first. It's the man! <laughs> I like Johnny. You low lifes. Think you can beat me in a bike race? <clears throat> Don't check it out. Yeah, I know how to ride. But give me a second, I'm gonna pick something up. What? You're kidding. I've been big booted. Ugh. Oh well. You know, I suppose I really should have gone through the explanation for y'all. Oh well. I'll do it in a minute. I don't mind racing a couple of times. <laughs> I mean, really, the big point is keep him the hell behind you. Oh, B. There we go. Got him. <clears throat> that was close, though. I still really don't quite entirely understand the mechanics of this race. I don't get it! <laughs> we'll ride the wind, babe! I'm gonna nip back in here for a second, because there is something I want to pick up. I forgot how to use this music. <clears throat> Oof, three of them? Youch. Line them up. Nope. Almost. There we go. <coughs> All right, we got one confused. do two damage to each other? Good grief. Ugh. I really like confusing my enemies. It's fun. <laughs> Interesting.
they seem to be unable to do anything. That's strange. That's what I'm looking for. Holy. <coughs> Marl's pretty useless in these fights right now, but that'll change. That's what I'm talking about. The race log. Let's race again. And let's get the explanation from him. <coughs> RXXR. Greetings, life forms! <laughs> L and R to change perspective. I've never even actually done that. Oh, I hope he'll explain it to us again. Huh. Okay, the change perspective thing doesn't really seem to be doing anything. That's weird. <coughs> What these robots here say? That's a new high score. <coughs> <laughs> hey, you don't have bad. <laughs> what the hell? Let's see what it's like. Now, this is interesting. But it's the same mechanics, really, but... It's too bad that you never have any point where there's never any point where you can actually team up with Johnny. That would be awesome. <coughs> Some huge boss that you had to race somewhere, you get a massive penalty if you, you know, when you you have to you have to race him somewhere and then fight him and then if you, if you if you lose, you get some massive penalty to the fight, you know, it's basically hard mode. <coughs> 
Huh. Oh no, it's Proto Dome that we need to go to, that's right. There's a factory of some kind up there. Intriguing. <coughs> we are not impressed. Ooh. <coughs> that was a waste. I should have had him attack the other one. Oh well. <coughs> what was that? <laughs> If I can get them to bunch up just a little more. Eh, looks like they're not going to. That's okay. Ooh! <coughs> That's the stuff. Twink. Oh, she's critting a lot. Okay. Hello. What have we got here? Whoa, what's this? That's in bad shape, but it appears to be a humanoid robot. Incredible! I think I can fix it. Wh what? It might attack us. I'll make sure it won't. Machines aren't machines aren't inherently capable of evil. <laughs> Humans just make them that way. Look at you, pity them, don't you? Eh. Let me get to work, okay? Hmm. <laughs> The door won't budge. The door won't budge. <coughs> Alright, that does it. I'm gonna give it some juice. Whoops! Uh. <coughs> ah. Um, good morning! <laughs> uh, well, good morning, mistress. What is your command? <laughs> Not your mistress, I'm moral. Um, j just, just Luca will do. Impossible, that would be rude. Look, I hate formal titles, don't you, Marl? <laughs> I hate them! <laughs> oh, I understand. <laughs> so, what's your name? Er, name? Oh, well, my serial number is RXXY. <laughs> cool! Oh, come on, that won't do it all. Oh, let's give him a better name. Hmm. Now, this is the one, this is the name I said I was going to change regardless, because frankly, this is a dumb name. I mean, look, come on, look at it. it can it be any bigger of a no-brainer? No. Let's go with something a little more appropriate. Well, a little more descriptive. Oops. Uh, there we go. It's Greek. It's it's Greek mythology. Look it up. Or is it Greek or Roman? Could be Roman. Either way, they're basically the same thing. So <laughs> that is perfect. Ah, it's also he he actually has a real name of his own, although it's gotten. Uh, Lost or lost in or wiped from his uh, his uh, storage capacity, so you don't find it out until one of the side quests, actually. <coughs> 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 oh, 
How come there aren't any people here? Hmm? Uh, what has happened here? There were many humans and others of my kind in this dome. I think something awful happened here. It would appear so. But how is it that you survived? Uh, we came through a time warp from the year 1000. While exploring our stone, we learned there was a gate here. We found you and we came looking for it. The door to the inner chambers is locked, so we're out of luck. Clonk, clonk, clonk. <laughs> and the power's off. <clears throat> if we go to the factory up north, I can pass through the security and activate the stone's generator. Can you do that for us? <laughs> you repaired me. Now it's my turn to help you. But the generator won't run for long, so someone must stay behind to open the door while the power's on. Now, well, Marl or I will stay then. Um. Hmm. This is sort of a tough choice. Because. <coughs> You know, one of them one of them has has healing, which is very handy, and the other but but has virtually no offensive capacity. Um, I think I'm gonna take the healer along this time around. <coughs> I'll handle things here. Plus, she's she doesn't need instruction. Let's put it that way. <coughs> Luca, that is. Let's see what he's got. Ooh. Titan vest? Wow. That sounds impressive, at least. And incidentally, you can change uh, who you've got along with you just by going back and talking to him. I probably won't, but... <coughs> <coughs> One of those good-to-know things, yes? Ah, Enertron. Always handy. I guess it I guess it provides a power source for robots too. That would make sense. <coughs> I guess. <laughs> Override security system. Oh great. Well, if it's anything like the others we've seen... Yep. <coughs> <coughs> or a bean. Even more healing. Alright! What do we got here? Left is the lab area, right is the factory area. Do not turn off the conveyor belt. Well, I haven't seen the conveyor belt yet, but I assume that'll be handy once it's, uh, once I have seen it. Let's head down to the factory. <coughs> factory seems like, seems more useful at this point. There'll be a chest. Oops, can't get there from here. Ha! Now, I could have cheated a little bit and just turned off one of the background layers, but who needs it? Let's see what's down here. Okay. There's a barrel in the way. I think we're kind of stuck here. Let's see what's, what goes on if we move it. Oh, we ended up on the conveyor. How interesting. Hmm. Oops. Crap. Oh well. Funk. Proto 3, huh? Eh. 
Pow! Boy, he hits hard. see what Atlas has in the way of... Oh, that's right, I forgot. He has healing. But then again, having a group heal is always useful. Hmm. Punch enemy. No, really? With a name like Rocket Punch, I never would have guessed. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, that does hit hard. Bugger. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. Three techs? That's disgusting. Nobody else has three techs. What the hell? <coughs> Don't think about Atlas. He is slow. Alright, let's see what the- Ooh, Cool. I think that's the first party effect we've gotten. Ah! Lazor! <coughs> Put Lazor in me! Well, then again, I suppose I did it to you, so I guess it's fair. Alright, let's see what this rocket roll is all about. Oh! <laughs> cool. Next. Bug bait. Uh, cyclone. Oh, okay, good. There we go. We got a bunch of them bunched up like that. Yeah, use something like a cyclone. Especially when it one hits the entire group. I remember that you can use heals outside of battle. Forgetting that. Hey, mid tonic. Yay for tonics. Hmm. Mid ether. Good, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 400 gold. Nice. Or, I, I imagine probably the equivalent of, given that people don't even use gold as currency in this time period, it seems like. We got here. Crane. Ah, oh, okay. XA and BB. Okay, apparently this isn't the crane control room. <coughs> hmm. Another barrel in the way. Alright. Note to self. Shelter. Good. And an ether. Okay. See what's here. Aha! This is the crane. Okay, so it was XA and BB. There we go. 
forgot which was X for a minute. Kadoonk. All right, that's out of the way. And BB. Not that this really makes any sense as far as controlling a crane goes, but whatever. worth noting is that most of the attacks that any of these robots have can be analogized in some way or another to, to a technique that uh, that Atlas has. Just die. Whoa, hello! One shot. I just picture him after the big. Stop the world! I want to get off. <clears throat> there we go. And ether, always useful. Pardon me. Oh. <laughs> okay, apparently you can't get through there. That's interesting. Alrighty then, let's move down here. Should be a chest for us to grab right over here. Yep. Hey, a moral weapon! Awesome! Here we go. Okay, no, no special effects. What's over here? Not much. Aha! A bolt sword? Ooh, cool. X A B Y, huh? Alrighty. Not that we have a clue where to use that, but... <clears throat> Alright, Atlas, what's the deal? Okay, maybe we gotta go into the lab area. Oh, 
And of course, Chrono stands right in the middle. Dumbass. Ugh! Is it just me or did she just fire like six bolts? Excellent. Aha! A save point. And come to think of it, this might be about the time to stop. Run a quick calculation here. Yep, this is about the time to stop. Past, really. <clears throat> Alright then. I'll just use a shelter here. Have a save. The factory ruin. Good one, my friends.